Hi, good evening. Hi, Hi, how are you? Hello, hello, how are you? Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, good evening. How's everything? Fine. Okay. I'm a little bit tired, but fine. Okay, nice. Good to hear that. And the rest and the others. Mayra, Cristina, Hector. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome. <clears throat> Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I'm tired. Tired. All right. <laughs> Sorry to hear that. <laughs> Let's get a coffee. <laughs> Let's energize with a cup of coffee. Don't drink coffee at night. No. Ah. Sleep. Because then you don't sleep. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. A juice, uh, ¿cómo se dice? A, <laughs> a juice. A juice. A natural juice. Uh -huh. That's nice. All right. All right. Welcome. Yeah, we'll see. Um, some other people are still getting connected. Some people are still joining. Let's give them a couple of minutes. All right, for them to join the class, because so far we only have eight people, okay? Only eight out of almost 20, right? There should be almost 20. Uh -huh. So two more minutes waiting, and then we start. Do you remember the class from last night? Last night class? What do you remember? Tell me. Mm -hmm. Anything? Any idea? Use uh, can and cannot or can. All right. Yes, we review. We repeated some exercises last night. True. Uh huh. What yesterday? Yesterday's topic was. Will be and could be. Could be and would be for future predictions right so expectations right all right great and the benefits that we could bring to a company right so i could be a great help because i have experience in marketing and design right so we started these topics and of course we had an assignment i remember Huh. <laughs> Did you complete the assignment? Did you create the sentences? Did you finish? Yeah. Yes, great. All right. So I received the message from, I think it was Carlos. I guess that is in traffic. He's traveling, so he won't be able to connect. Okay, Eliana as well. Let's see who else. All right. All right, so let's find the attendance. Let's have the attendance. I know there are not many people joined. Now let's get to the attendance. All right, let me see. Let me try to find it, hopefully. Okay. <laughs> My goodness. All right. In a couple of minutes. All right, today is, let's see, who remembers? Mm -hmm. September 7th, September Wednesday. September 7th, Wednesday, that's right. Wednesday, September 7th, all right. All right, that's nice. Okay. And we have the attendance. Let's see. Adriana, do we have Adriana? Yeah. <laughs> She's almost there. Adriana, we saw you already. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Fine. Great. Good to hear that. 
All right, Carla says he will join later as a listener. Christina, how's okay. everything? Hi. <laughs> Daniel. Daniel, Daniel? Not here. Jesus. Daniel is not here tonight. All right, Elsie? Present teacher. Hi, how are you? Hi, thank you. All right. Glad to hear that, Ferman. On his way. <laughs> Probably on traffic. Oh no, I, I see Ferman over here. Okay, Hazel. Not here. Yes, I see Hazel's name over here. Hector. I'm here, teacher. Present. Hi, nice to see you. Nice to meet you. All right. Liliana. Hey, Ferman. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> like, so teacher. I heard my name. <laughs> okay. Hi. All right, Ferman, no worries. It's all right. Okay, Ileana. Ileana, Ileana. Oh, she's not here. Oh, goodness. Irma. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Irving. Present teacher. Hi. Isabel. Hello, good evening, Lucy. Where is Lucy? Not here. <laughs> Marta. Present teacher. Hi, good evening. Mayra. Present teacher. Hello, good evening. Samuel. Present. Hi. Wendy, 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 not yet, and Jacqueline, Jacqueline, she's not Present. here, oh, she's here, Present. hi, thank you, all right, well, yesterday, I remember that we were going to complete an exercise, and of course, we're gonna check that exercise today, right? Let's see, let me just get to the main presentation. Yes, this is the one. So today is Wednesday, September 7th. Yes, people from Ataco are on holidays, I guess, right? Okay, so some of the reminders, okay? And of course, tonight, this is our objective for the class okay at the end of the session participants will be able to create their own conversation to talk about work experience using time expressions right so yesterday i bet um we mentioned in a conversation that we really need or how important it is working experience right so we're going to expand tonight on this uh, class about this, right? And the key vocabulary is for, done, says, since, sorry, until, from, to, and long, okay? So this is the vocabulary that we're gonna study. And of course, we're gonna follow this, okay? Huh. Let's say, I mentioned yesterday some companies, okay? Let's say, we have, oh, but there are some companies here. So we're going to discuss what benefits you could or you would bring if you had the possibility to work on this company. So write on the chat what company you work for. Is it I work for? Teresa Prosa. I work for? Yes. <laughs> okay. So on the chat, I remember, you see my memory. All right, so right on the chat, and we're gonna 
we're gonna discuss if you have the possibility to work for this company, what benefits you would bring to that company, okay? Because it's better if we talk about real examples, all right? Please write on the chat. I'm gonna read your comments, okay? Let's see what companies we have here, okay? Mm -hmm. No comments yet? I work for in the name of the company. Mm -hmm. All right. Everybody, everybody tell me what company that the name of the company that you work for. All right, just one person. Mm -hmm. Right or, or is it... no, right, right on the chat. Oh, it's okay. okay. You can write. We can read your comments so we can know what company you work for. I have one so far. Okay, Piaes, Merlet. Mm -hmm. Outsourcing, AYP. All right. CNC, Atlantia Bank. All right. Okay, three inversiones. Mm -hmm. Enforces. Oh, wow. They're a very different, different type of companies, right? <laughs> different. All right. Any comment? All right. Awesome. Okay. All right. Great. So we have some names already. Okay. Let's see. Hector, explain what's the main mission of your company? What does this company um, do or what is the main objective of this company? And my, my company uh, work uh, with uh, together. Yes. Marm, Marm, it is medio ambiente. Oh yeah. For care, mm -hmm. the environmental, medio to, ambiente. To help the environment. To help the uh, health environment. Mm -hmm. They work in different kind. Projects. Mm -hmm. For uh, environment. Mm -hmm. I work in with with person, community, in rural community, mm -hmm. and protect, protect areas, areas protegidas? Protected areas. Protected areas, mm -hmm. and, and, and that's it. <laughs> that's all. And what does FIA mean exactly? F? F mm -hmm. is fondo. Uh -huh. A, inversión. Mm -hmm. A ambiental mm -hmm. S del Salvador. Fondo oh, Fondo de Inversión Ambiental. For it's a commercial Salvador. name. All right. Another, uh, the first name uh, was mm -hmm. Fondo de Iniciativa para las Américas El Salvador. Oh, really? Thanks. Uh, the name for commercial mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and 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 what what kind of professional work for this institution? Professional. Mm -hmm. Engineers, mm -hmm. architects, biologists, biologists, or, mm -hmm. or a work with uh, areas in the areas. Mm -hmm. Agronomist like me, mm -hmm. or work in 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 crop, mm -hmm. in crop. plantations and crops. I mean, mm -hmm. Como se diría, amiga? Friendly with the friendly with the, with the environment. Friendly with the environment. Mm -hmm. And uh, now 
architect and civil engineer engineers for, for the build uh, in areas mm -hmm. in uh, areas protected, protected areas. areas and a lot of people a lot of different uh, professions what a lot of different professions but no uh, administrative mm -hmm. and economist mm -hmm. for administration phone mm -hmm. how interesting wow we know a lot about actors uh, company now is this an institution a governmental institution is, that, is, is it governmental or non-governmental institution it is not governmental but work with uh fondo gubernamental yes okay it's like uh the no como sería compensación ambiental a uh, different industry a uh, mm -hmm. in disaster with the environmental oh, so they compensate uh -huh. and, mm -hmm. and they must pay for this disaster and oh. disaster uh, Cómo sería son invertidos. Uh, yeah, invested. Invested in protect areas. Mm, how interesting! Probably we didn't know about that in El Salvador. <laughs> okay, <laughs> only if you are in the industry, right? You probably know about it, right? Okay, that's really awesome. Okay, think about. Okay, this is the idea. If you have the opportunity to work for CIS what benefits would you bring to this company or to this institution in your own case because um of course you are working i mean currently working for another company but imagine in the future Hector tells you hey you know we have an opportunity here and you say oh i would be a great help or i could bring this benefit because of my experience in this and this and this actually i'm very interested that's a really awesome institution that i didn't know it existed you know because when we are in the area of teaching probably we don't know about this other institutions that regulate the natural disasters or the protect environment okay but it's great that they exist all right, so think about it. Okay, now in the chat, imagine that you have the possibility to work for PIs after listening to Hector and write a sentence. I would, how you would benefit. I would help or I would bring this benefit because I have experience in this area, okay? Let's see, everybody write one sentence. I could or I would. I would benefit FIAS because this and this and this, or I could help FIAS because this and this and this, right? Give us an example, give us an explanation, okay? So we never know, probably you could work for that institution later. <laughs> we're not trying to say that you have to change company, okay? We're just saying that we have to use this structure. I could, I would, okay? I would be a great help let me see let me stop sharing this i remember yesterday hold on i bet it's this one uh-huh so you remember i would be a great asset or i could yes be of great help in sales department because because i have experience in sales because i worked for five years in a bank Right? So if you had the opportunity to work for PIS, which is the company where Hector works, how could you or how would you help? Okay? What would be the benefit that you could bring to his company? Okay? Let me see. Okay, I would bring PIS a great help in digital marketing. Wow, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Because we, yeah, probably you knew about it, but I'm impressed I didn't know. <laughs> the people, the people need to know what they do, and if, if the people know, they can help to don't 
put trash. Uh, to collaborate more, yeah, right? Yeah. Because when we protect the environment, we are protecting our own home. Of course, and exactly. we and, and, and the digital humanity. marketing. Exactly. And when you, we use digital marketing, we can show to the other people what kind of the work, work you're doing. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Nice. That sounds Good. pretty accurate. Uh, because, now you're uh, calling someone tomorrow now. <laughs> I, I want to see the I want to see the benefits first. <laughs> oh my own benefits. <laughs> of course. All right. Uh-huh. Somebody else? A similar example using I could, I would. Okay. Somebody else? Right on the chat. Don't be afraid. Don't be shy. I could be a great help or I could be a great asset because this and this and this or because my experience in this area or because I studied biologists or because I am a agronomy engineer or because I have experience in building or construction area, whatever you want to say. Or he said, he mentioned that they also have the, this department where they manage the, the money, right? So the economist, so they also will be great help. But only, it seems that only Samuel would be a benefit. Uh-huh, nobody else? Nobody else there's? Okay. All right. Somebody else. Yeah. I would be great help to solve problems. Yes, Maida. Very good. Mm -hmm. What type of problems, Maida? Communication problems. Um, can... Management problems. Organization. Organization. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, all type. <laughs> all type of problem. All right. That's so you, okay. So you would be a good moderator. All right. Okay. I will be in the learning phase, Urban says. Right? <laughs> okay. So probably he's in the, I would be a learner i would be a fast learner <laughs> yes nice that sounds good too mm -hmm. all right what else anybody else all right okay here we have yeah i would learn. okay i would learn to use a spreadsheet or a probably you would teach other employees to Okay, to use the spreadsheets. Okay, I think it could be an opportunity for development and packaging fun with the environment. Yeah, why not? That would be awesome. Mm -hmm. You could be a great opportunity, all right, for developing packaging. Okay, eco friendly, <laughs> all right, that's how they call it sometimes, right? Okay. All right, let's see the second person. Hmm. The second person who wrote about his or her. Oh, no, that was Mr. Samuel Cerso Prosa. What is the main objective of the mission of your company? I know people know or people have an idea, but probably you can give some more. I think the people don't. I think the people don't know what the the. What the, the company does. Yeah, yeah. All <laughs> the people think there's a, a a security company, but not. We don't give a, a security. We translate all the great value from the from the business uh -huh. to the bank to another business to we we trans we we put in 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 the in the bank or how do you say poveda how do you say poveda 
Oh my God. Vamos a buscarlo. Dame yeah, look for it because I never thought of it. It's, it should be something uh, related to security, but. Bout. The same. Yeah, bout. All right. But it, okay, it refers uh, to, the, to the safety of money. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and we move the. 90% of money of, of, of cash of the banks of the uh, of the financial institutions. Yeah. Oh. This, is, this is the main this ah. is the main mission. This is the main mission. Oh. Yeah. Move all, move all the, 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 the values for the vault. Okay. And and, and reward them. Yeah, then kind we of have, keep them safe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then we have uh three divisions more mm -hmm. to do a different thing. For example, Iron Mall, it's mm -hmm. an, uh, a marketing place um, um, like, like Amazon, if you want mm -hmm. to, to say, Similar. you can buy, yeah, you oh. can buy in, in uh, online. online, you can buy online, that's mm -hmm. correct. Mm -hmm. When we have to the Akipago, mm -hmm. it is, uh, we have more than 600 points of of pay you can pay your mm -hmm. bills uh electronic you can do, no physical really yeah oh like, yeah but you can go to pronto to a gas for example. station to a yeah. pharmacy for, exact, yeah. exactly yeah. exactly yeah. and uh, i forget pay my my oh. bills <laughs> I, it's two o'clock in the morning but you can go to a pronto uh a gas station uh -huh. and you can pay and the pace is is in is online. Oh, yes, and true. And in a convenience store, in a pharmacy, in a gas station. Of course. All right. And, and we how, have how, another... may, how many of those places do we have in El Salvador? More than six hundred. Everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Even Everywhere. towns. Yeah, of course. A little a little markets. Uh, a little uh, i'm impressed <laughs> probably really? we need some more marketing about this Akipago, well, we know? need we need more money <laughs> <laughs> yes because... we need more money to say to all people what we do exactly yeah. Yeah. because that's really convenient of course of course yeah you don't need to do that the line in the bank to pay your bills no. and and to or or pay your credit you can pay credit with us exactly you can or you, pay extra because you forgot to pay the bill on time of course mm -hmm. uh, we have you you can do anything uh with your bills and with your bank uh, account nice. we have we have uh six bank and you can do a lot of transactions mm -hmm. with with us and and another division as uh, aeroflash mm -hmm. you can move package or mail to From all over the world uh, no only in, in sorry, el salvador yeah mm -hmm. only in the salvador flash. Yeah. all right well you have a lot of divisions it's not just sense of process itself no sense of process is just the mother <laughs> It's the mother so, who gave our, the money. So it's how everything has started. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But if definitely this has been like innovations, right? Because probably 10 years ago, those different divisions didn't exist. No, no, no. All are new. Mm -hmm. Only, only Aeroflash have the same time like than, than Cerza Prosa. Really? Only nine years. Oh yeah. my God. I but aquí pago it's signs it's signs five 2000 years. yeah five years mm -hmm. 2016 for example uh -huh. and aeromall is the newer uh, the toy mm -hmm. the newest toy <laughs> the baby uh, yeah yeah All 2019. Right. Oh, wow so imagine Samuel is offering an opportunity. <laughs> Imagine I say it, right? <laughs> no, no, no. It, it's true. We I need am. A, yeah, yeah, yeah. We need a lot of people to, to do to work for you. To work with us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. So think about it. This sentence that you're going to write right now is really important. <laughs> it can change your future for real. Of course. Of course. <laughs> All right. Think about what you're going to say. Okay. Imagine that you have, of course, better opportunity 
we're not gonna say anything right don't worry <laughs> this chat will be deleted oh, well, no, no, no. <laughs> it's all right just no. use the structure i could okay. be a great help i could be a great asset because i have experience in this or because i know how to do this and that and that right so right about okay there's a process of what benefits you could bring to that company if you have the opportunity. Mm -hmm. Okay, Christina is still wrote about the, the last one. She said, I could be a good help in the area of psychology. Yeah, that would be nice to keep the staff well to motivate yeah, the staff, to train the staff in different areas. Mm -hmm. Christina, help could be a great value from our, yeah, our company. Actually, most of the companies really need a lot of personnel in this area. Yeah. Because from the beginning, when you are about to hire someone, Yes, you have to get a lot of tests, you have to select, ah. yes, you have to go through a selection process, you have to make sure that the person you're hiring is the, is the right one, right? Mm -hmm. My hiring process uh, during Duro? Lasted. Lasted three months. Three months. Oh, wow, you're really patient. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so Christina, yeah, Christina would be a great help for any company, right? So I could say I would be a great asset because I know about yes, GPS system. Oh yeah, definitely about programming would be awesome. Yeah, mm, very all, important. All, all our vehicle, all, all our cars yeah, have all, one. All the vehicles must yeah. have, right? Yeah. Okay, it would be oh Adriana said I would be a great help um, to have ex because I have experience on enterprise resources planning system. Wow, yes, that's impressive as well. Okay. Well, we have two very good examples, so we didn't have to look for other, you know, companies' names. Okay, so that you could work, that you could offer your help. Okay, so that you could offer, you know, your abilities in case you want to give the impression. Okay, of a possibility in the future, definitely, right? Okay, somebody else wants to try regarding Sam's company? You could send me your CV to my WhatsApp <laughs> number. <laughs> Whenever you want. I'll, yeah, of course. Okay. I'm gonna have my data. My, my we, always need to, we always need to be a B plan. Exactly, why not? All right. So now we have Adriana, Merlet. Adriana, explain a little bit more about your company. My company is a uh, manufacturing. We make clothes. Textiles, we, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, brand, Nike, Fox, Levi's is mm, the client. Levi. Those are the main clients from the states. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. And everything that you manufacture here goes to the stores in the states, or anything is sold here locally. No, nothing. No, nothing. So if you want to buy what we manufacture here, we have to go to the states, or we have uh, to shop yes. online. <laughs> yes. Uh, but. Uh, our company uh, distribute distributes distribute on Walmart. Oh, um, so we have a stores that sell locally too. Yes, but the 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 client um, are from the states. Yes, but, but they sell in the local stores. Mm -hmm. mm, how interesting! Peter, Nike, Adidas. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, all these exported brands. Mm -hmm. Only Levi's, do you uh, manufacture jeans or no. other type of, of 
uh, garments. Only t-shirts. Only t-shirts. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's because of the material, right? The type of fabric that you yes. use. Uh, but the client has many manufacturing in other countries. Central or, America, Latin America? Uh, no. Chinese. China? India? China, Bangladesh? India? Mm -hmm. Pakistan? Yes. All right. How lucky we are. Yeah. Honduras, Costa Rica. Central America then. Yes. All right. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. What type of job position? Because I know your your job position is a very unique one. And you have you told me you have like five or six people in your area. But yes. what other I... yeah, other type of job positions that we could get in this company? Um the most designers. Uh, no tailors. Uh, it's uh, engineers, engineers, uh, industrial engineers, industrial engineers mm -hmm. is the yeah. the most required one. Yes, you want, I have this very personal curiosity because I work in a similar company. You know, <laughs> I work for a very similar company on my daily basis job. Mm -hmm. But why is it that civil engineers? I'm sorry, industrial engineers are very difficult to maintain because once they stay in a company next two months they are in a different company <laughs> next three months in another one in another one because i know somebody who worked for your company then he worked for our company then he left so it's like so hard to keep this type of professionals in the industry of manufacturing is um very common to a rotation person why? is very high rotation person well, why they are not happy with their job no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's money mm -hmm. uh, benefits benefits mm, is the most common because uh, the manufacturing um Están como regidos. Regulated. Regulated and uh, United of United States mm -hmm. because it's the most export. It is standardized. Yeah. So the standards yeah. are super high. And, and then the, the payment no has to El Salvador. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the regulations are up here United and States. the payment is very low. Mm -hmm. mm. That's a shame. I think yes because I I have heard stories you know I'm not an industrial engineer of course but I have heard that uh, people is that manufacturing offer benefit uh, that the other company don't offer um, okay uh, yes I have heard that they example, study really hard and they prepare really hard to become an industrial engineer and then probably that's why they ask for better for benefits. Uh, my company, um, they give an, uh, basic cereals mm -hmm. for month. Groceries. All, to all employees. To all employees. Wow. That's really nice. And, and and we have a um, super mini supermarket inside the company. Inside the company, mm -hmm. and we can buy, but the don't credit. pay. But don't pay. So practically, pay. you can pay later. Uh, they discount ah oh, from your payroll, payment, but they don't have in interest. 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 So basically, they give you credit. And without after, interest and and they payroll mm -hmm. and pay later yes dividen como el monto y se lo van descontando como de a poquito okay little mm -hmm. amounts all right yeah. nice wow there are some good benefits so now think about what benefits you could 
green if it were for Merlet. Okay, write sentences on the chat and say, oh, thank you, Adriana, for the information. So I could be a great help because I know how to do this and how to do that. <laughs> or I could be um, a great professional because I have experience in this and that and that, okay? So now it's your turn for writing sentences based on what Adriana already shared with us. Okay, let's see. No candidates yet, Adriana. <laughs> Not yet. But I bet they are writing and organizing their ideas. But probably Hector when yesterday asked me if I can buy a t shirt. Mm -hmm. And and he inters inter was interested. Did. All right. <laughs> yes, I know. It's because, you know, our industry sometimes depends more on the external clients, right? Oh, it's a it's lot. A and not, not only in your company, in many of the industry, right? It, it's, it's very it's common. The same. It's the mm -hmm. same. Mm -hmm. Yes, because I can buy a teacher um Levi's for example mm -hmm. and five dollars mm -hmm. but in the store you can pay forty dollars right okay so Sam says I could help them by training them in teamwork <laughs> all right <laughs> okay to keep the team for longer mm -hmm. all right that sounds great that sounds pretty pretty awesome you know I do appreciate all this information because sometimes uh, our limits are, you know, so short that we don't extend or we don't expand to know about these areas because we stay just in the educational system. So when we interact and we talk about this, it's a lot of knowledge we get. So it's really beneficial for everybody, right? Awesome. Nobody else would benefit Merlin or Adriana's company. If you can sell. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I can sell. I can sell. <laughs> All right. Adriana is in charge of the IT, right? Department. Yes, I'm IT manager. Mm -hmm. How long have you been there? Um, seen seven years. Seven years. Yes. It's stable. Yes. Yes. And you work nearby? No. Where do you live? I live in Mexicano. Oh, really? And I work in Antigua, We are neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah well something similar happens because i work here i mean i live here and i work in Sayapango. no mm -hmm. it's, the time is similar yeah very similar the traffic is horrendous sí. <laughs> especially this last month do you notice in the afternoon it's terrible 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 all right so some other people didn't write the sentences and we want to stay longer, so don't worry. Well, in case they could be a great help, they will contact you, all right? So we will stay with just three companies because if we go with each of them, we will spend the whole, uh, I mean, the whole class in here, but we still have CNC. Ferman, briefly explain what, what your company does. Hey. Wow. Okay. First of all, what CNC stands for? Carton and cups? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's um una is a office technical service and sales sir uh, assistant sales in Central in Central America. That's CNC. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. And and cómo se dice. How would you how say? Do you say? How do you say, uh, uh, mission? The mission. Mi the mission. Okay. Mm -hmm. The mission is uh, 
be the number one in the production inside, so BOPP in the world. Mm -hmm. um, a pro proposing mm -hmm. and if the, the new development for food packaging. Uh, e, uh, sur, uh, rublo, uh, what, what do you say, rub, rublo? Ru the area. Uh, Area, mm -hmm. uh, your area is is uh, is uh, preserve, preserve, preserve uh, the product fresh uh, until until, until the customer receive. finish customer mm -hmm. finish. Right. For example, the, uh, ah. So, those packages for the ketchup yeah all right so you usually uh-huh you Snack. usually yeah sell all this packaging for different companies different restaurants chains all right uh we no not sales direct uh, the package uh, no direct restaurant mm -hmm. uh or supermarket mm -hmm. etc no we sales e assistant mm -hmm. uh, other uh, company that which are the providers of the of the of the restaurants exactly. and supermarkets chain ah yeah mm -hmm. wow there's a lot of process behind this little bag of ketchup <laughs> yes <laughs> okay yes. and it and it's, it looks just so simple right uh it's simple is opening the packaging uh, and not even thinking about the, the okay. all it, it, the yeah. huge process yeah, of many treasure. people, <laughs> right? So you have those packages for sugar, salt, it's, yes, and all yes. those uh, these dressings, mayonnaise, yes. mustard. Exactly. Mm -hmm. The complicate the process is, uh, how do you say, acertar? To be sure. Be sure. Uh -huh, to be sure. Be sure, in the material sure. Uh -huh. exactly. Uh, the exact material. Ex exactly material. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, for uh, which product is ne necessitate a uh, different material? Type of material. Yeah, depending material. on the product, you need the, the specific type of yes. material. Yeah, yes. some of these bags include like aluminium, paper, carbon, right? Exactly. Plastic. Yes. Oh, wow. Exactly. Interesting. So we have this idea clear now. Thank you. Okay. okay. Thank you, teacher. All right. Mr. Irving, AYP Outsourcing is in charge of? Hi. Hi. Well, my job is... How do you say I'm very easy because I I'm salesman. I the most important is hearing hearing of the client and giving solution for but uh, by bars he buys and he buys uh, products of the technology. Mm -hmm. and, uh, one of the most important is a new app of all information about uh, to know the information related to the to the type of uh, technological devices yeah. they need. Uh, ah, so AYP means what? Uh, well, about about phones, about laptop, about technological devices. Yes, but the meaning uh, of the letters A Y P. Yeah, Y P. The letters that you wrote in the chat. You wrote the letter A Y and P. Outsourcing. A I P. Yes. Uh huh. So, see. what is the so meaning of AYP? Uh, AIP is the outsourcing for the brand for the branding 
for the brand HP, Hewlett Packard. Mm, okay. All right. Hewlett Packard uh, sales uh, computers, mm -hmm. notebook. Printers. Printers. Mm -hmm. Correctly. All right. And, uh, and they have I different buy, different uh, stores. And different stores. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Different stores, different retails. All right. Nice. So if we need anything related to the technology, any device, we can contact Irving, all right? Yeah. <laughs> Please. <laughs> <laughs> also, also, uh, also, I make reports, reports on there's the names of the reports is a reports of the train marketing. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, that's nice. Uh, also, mm -hmm. nice. Reports of the marketing. All right, awesome. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Okay, so I just got that um, curiosity because I, I I was not quite sure what it meant. So great for the other ones, probably we will talk about later because yeah, it's been a while we've been talking. All right, that's great. Well, did you finish this exercise? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Did you compare? So we have this as scramble words. It says great a study would be a bro it opportunity to up. I want to stop sharing this because I want to share the screen of the presentation. So I think I have it right here. Okay. Okay. Uh huh. Oh my God, the dogs in this neighborhood are crazy. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> okay. So, what was the first sentence? It. You started with it? No. It will be a great opportunity uh -huh. to study abroad. It would be a great opportunity to study abroad. Everybody agree? Or you have something different? It would be a great opportunity to study abroad. Let me just get something. If to study will, will be a great opportunity abroad. Okay. He said, it would be a great opportunity to study abroad. Okay, let's see. Yes, correct. It would be a great opportunity to study abroad. You know what that means? Yes, to study in a different country, not in your own country. To study in Europe, in the United States, in Mexico, in Argentina. For us, that would be abroad. All right. Number two, our beneficial employees could be a training for. What would be the correct sentence? A training for our employees could be uh, could be beneficial. Okay, a training for our employees or, could be beneficial. Or it could be beneficial a training for our employees. Both make sense, right? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> all right, but we're gonna skip that one. Let's go to number three because I bet I have this one after the the, the second one. I I just had this type of mistake. Your, your beneficial uh, for employer could be a training. No. Okay, our beneficial. Mm, I think it sounds better if you say uh, our employees. Yeah, a training would be beneficial for our employees. Teacher, yes. Mm -hmm. teacher. Yes. I think a train training mm -hmm. could be beneficial for our employees. 
Okay, a training could be beneficial for our employees. All right, that sounds accurate. Give me one second. I just have this issue with this dog here. All right, so we can skip this one because okay, let's think about the number three. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you the right answer on the number two later. Don't worry. Okay, number three, less hours, another working would be benefits. That's easy. Everybody wants that. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Working less hour would be another benefit. Okay, working less hours would be another benefit. Or another benefit would be working less hours. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense too. All right. Okay. Let's go with the number four. Option staff would be a weekend soft to a have good happy. Oh my God. This really want to make you cry. <laughs> Uh -huh. Oh my god. That sounds scary. A weekend out could be an option to have no. happy, happy. <laughs> or a good option. I, I don't know. <laughs> It's too much. We can a week. Off. Oh, sorry. We can off off will be a good a good option to start a have happy. Okay, to have a happy stuff. Right, probably just the end there, right? Mm -hmm. A weekend off would be a good option to have a happy stuff, or to have the stuff happy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Yes, number three to another benefit would be working less hours. Yes, and the number four, yes, weekend stuff would be a good option to have a happy stuff, right? And number five, grade of inventory the department could be Maria help in. Hmm, that's easy, Maria, let's start with Maria. Maria could be helping the grade of inventory. Okay, Maria could be could be could be um, help uh -huh. in in department inventory of in the inventory department. Okay, uh -huh. Maria could be. Great help in the inventory department. Most likely, it sounds accurate. Yes, Maria could be a great help in the inventory department. Okay, the mystery number two. <laughs> yes, a training could be beneficial for our employees. Yes, I think you said it before. My dog. <laughs> All right. No, maybe. All right, you got it? Did you take a screenshot for anything? Take a photo. Thumbs up if you got it, please. Done? Or you are taking notes? In the exam, uh, we push a pointer. 
final point. Alright. In... Ask her. Alright, it needs the final dot. Alright. If necessary. Alright, somebody already shared the photo for the ones that were taking notes. Thank you. Okay. So you don't need to continue copying. So you can see the photo. Alright, thank you. Alright. Let's have the second attendance. It's about time. All right. Please say present because I still have some absence. All right. Adriana? Present. Carlos? Present, teacher. Oh, welcome. <laughs> you evening. made it, finally. Yeah. Where were you coming from? Uh, I coming to San Miguel. You were coming from San Miguel. Yeah. Oh my God. How many kilometers are there from here to San Miguel? Oh, from your house to San Miguel. Well, it's 133. 133. Oh, you have traveled the world. <laughs> uh, and you were but, driving. Uh, but uh, 133. Uh, to Soyapango, from Soyapango to San Miguel. And then from Soyapango to your house. Eh, ya me perdí. <laughs> <laughs> 133 only from San Miguel to Soyapango. Ajá, uh -huh. o sea, eh, yeah. And then from Soyapango to your house, how many kilometers? It's similar, okay. Uh, to 266. Yeah, round in total. trip, trip round. Ah, because the round trip, going uh -huh, and coming trip. back. Okay. In one yeah. day. In one day. My God, and you were driving. Yeah. Uh, no, uh, it's just it's the car, the, uh, the enterprise. The company. Company. So you were not driving. What? You were not driving. Yes, the, 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 From San the regreso, to the, sorry, coming back. The so you were two people driving, uh, a person drive uh, going and the other one at the return. Uh, we went three, three, three partners, persons, uh, yeah. partner, uh, I driving two person. Oh my God. Uh, so you were one of the drivers. Yes. <laughs> Very stressed. <laughs> I, know. I know, I know, I know. Sorry to hear that. Okay, Christina. Hello, teacher. Hi. Eh, tuve me. problemas con la conexión, por eso estuve desconectado un momento. Don't worry. I had problems with the connection. <laughs> connection problems. All right, Daniel. Daniel? No, Daniel, tonight. Oh my God, I don't see him. No, 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 no. No. All right, Elsie. Present teacher. Everything okay? Teacher, Daniel, como que escribió en el chat que iba a estar solo de oyente. Lo ven por algún lado. Can you see him? Yo vi que escribió en el chat. Que iba a estar de oyente. Ok, let me see, let me see. Oh, yes. Thank you. Thank you for the reminder. Sí, ahí lo veo. Sometimes it's hard for me to see both the screens, all right? Ok. Germán. I am here, teacher. All right, Hazel. I'm here, Hazel. teacher. Present, teacher. Huh? Diana, did you come? Oh, she says she's going home. She's coming late. All right, I'm sorry. Oh, lo logró. You got it. <laughs> Too tired. All right, thank you. All right, let's see. Irma. Irvin. 
Isabel. Present. Lucy. Present. Marta. Present. Mayra. Present. Samuel. Present. Wendy. No Wendy tonight. And Jacqueline. Jacqueline. Present. Hi. All right, great. Okay, for the ones that just joined, yes, we were reviewing some exercises related to the class from yesterday, the use of would, would be, and could be, right? So right now, we're going to get started with the next lesson. How long have you worked in your company? Have you occupied different positions in the company or just the same? Okay, we're going to introduce these two questions to talk about the experience. You can mention previous experience too, okay? Not necessarily only the experience that you have in your current company. For example, you can say, oh, before working in the company, I had five years of experience in the same area. I had worked for a different company. I had learned so much that when I applied for this company, I was trained in this and this area. I had these skills, I had these abilities already. So, and I benefited this company with my skills because we changed this department or we implemented or we developed a project and so on and so forth, right? So the idea is that you talk about your experience and how you have benefited the company or if you have been growing or if you have moved from different areas in your company okay so i'm going to give you some time for you to interact with your partners everybody must participate that is the idea to communicate all right so we're going to create uh, small groups yes three or four participants in each group, try to keep the conversation going, try not to stop, try to communicate, try to talk about your working experience, the different areas that you work, the main actions or the main functions that you have, okay, or the departments that you are in charge of or whatever else comes into the conversation, right? So let's go. Teacher. Yes. Um, should you uh, share uh, the, the, the diapositive? Okay. Yes, I share the slide. Don't worry. Okay. Thank you. No worries. Hello. Hi, teacher. <laughs> Hi. Well, in my case, um, I have five years, and that I work in the in the my company that I work, and I occupied in the long of these five years and only one position in. It's related to um, health, safety, and environment supervisor for construction projects. It's the only one position that I have. <laughs> only one. Yes, in the in the long the 
These five years. Five years. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mayra. In my, com in my company, I have... Um, um, quiero... <laughs> Three, three years, three years, three years in in one position. Okay. In in my case, uh, the four, yeah, you have twenty one years working in the same company. Yes, twenty one. A lot of time. A lot of time. Yeah. In the 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 first four years, I worked. Uh, operator the subway station but you you sleep in your house or you're staying in the subway station it's sleeping the subway station okay how many days or week uh, the, uh, from uh, to from monday to friday friday okay uh, the first four years And you, Christy? Okay. I have been working at the bank since uh, two, 2006. 2006. Six. Uh -huh. And have a uh, different position. Um, corporation. Uh, negocios, como se dice, pero... Business. I have business, um, administration, treasurer, 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 tesorería, <laughs> tesorería, um, right now cash management. Okay. I work in Merlet since seven years ago. I be en el chat. Quiero ver. En el chat hay tus preguntas y este nos tenemos que preguntar esas preguntas. Y una de ellas este dice how long have you working in your company? Aria. Sales are uh, accountant. Accountant. Mm -hmm. Area contable también. Mm -hmm. What's the area? Accounting. Accounting. Accounting area. Accounting. Department. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you. Right. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Accounting. Okay. Uh, accounting area. Yes. Es, no no solo administrative sino que um sales accounting eh, similar similar me no like me um I I, ha, I work in uh, three years in similar position and uh technical area I work in the community uh, ¿Cómo sería make a diagnostic? Diagnostic, uh -huh. comentario diagnostic. And uh, now, uh, administrative. And I perform the same, the same position related to safety. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, you, Mayra? In other, in, in, in first company, I I was occupation three, three position. And second, second company, I was two position. And final company, uh, one position. Okay. Here be. In the other, in the other jobs on the path, I have two, three position, three position, and 
uh, and do, I was I I I was customer service, a uh, man and dry dry cars in in clean three positions. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Um, okay. And solo una pregunta que era. Ok. Bueno, como la pregunta era en el actual, ¿verdad? No sé si notamos también los anteriores. I think it's just in the, in the actual company. I write. No, but but in Tigo was a, a company that they have an European men's side, side of mine, set of mine in a, in El Salvador. Then we celebrate a lot of things. We have a lot of work team. Uh, they was they it was a very nice experience with with the. With other fellows and, and other people, now we have a, a, a nice, but it's an old-fashioned style of, of, of management. Uh, what um, <laughs> what is the job uh, that uh, do you like more? O sea, ¿cuál es el trabajo que más te gusta de todo? Uh, my favorite work is the I'm doing right now. Okay. That's my favorite work because I am with the TV, with the radio, with the uh, social media, with a lot of events, with a lot of people planning events, planning uh, promotion with all divisions. Uh, love it. Oh, yeah. I love my work. <laughs> I love my work. Okay. A lot of. In my case, uh, the, the job, uh, the better, the better like, I like, como, como es el que más me gustó. Uh -huh. uh, it was in computer data system. Why? Uh, uh, I trataba, trataba, como se dice, con la gente. Uh, I deal with people. Deal? What? I deal, I deal with people. Yes. I deal, deal with people. Mm -hmm. uh, I give them instructor, instructor them. Okay. Um, do you like <clears throat> do you like stay with more people teaching your yes, or, or, or give like. your or, or give your knowledge uh, to other people? A ti te gusta dar tu yeah. conocimiento a otras personas. Yes, I, I like. You are happy. That makes you happy. I happy. <laughs> I know. I happy. So you yeah. were you were teaching as an instructor. Yes. Uh, uh, teaching IT technology. Uh, because two things. Mm -hmm. One, uh, I like the teach teaching. Mm -hmm. Two, uh, I learn more exactly uh, teaching when you teach you learn the double <laughs> yeah <laughs> nice I go and you teacher. Teacher, but... <laughs> it's and all you right teacher. it's all right yeah i love teaching you know probably i didn't mention this but I, uh the only job i have had is is teaching i've been teaching for more than 20 years and I started teaching at a kindergarten for five <laughs> years. <laughs> I started teaching at a kindergarten. I had just finished two years of university when I was accepted at a private school. Yes, I taught in that school. Montesoriano School, actually, mm -hmm. is a very unique methodology here in El Salvador. From Maria Montessori. Yes, probably you have you heard yeah, that. Yeah, first, first. Yes, that's between uh, Liceo Salvadoreño and Externado San Jose. So I taught there mm -hmm. for five years. Then I worked for many different institutions, including universities, Universidad Salvador and Universidad Católica. 
Montessori's, yeah. Montessori's methodology. Exactly, the methodology. It's for kids, especially, because, yeah. you know, the most important education that a human can receive is when they are kids, from two years old to six years old. All this preschool years are so important in a child's life in education. So it was really, really awesome. That was probably one of my best experiences. Do you like uh, the, the, the children? <laughs> I love kids. Yeah, I was teaching, you know, five and six years old, the, the grown ups. Yep. But when the teacher from maternal didn't go, they called me. <laughs> they say, please come, please, please help us. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they would need a substitute teacher and, and Miss Blanky is a good one. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> so I love it. I love it. I, I if, learned. If if you can if you can choose a place to work what will be mm, probably not montessori in the school anymore because uh the conditions have changed a lot okay but the place where i work i currently work for is better at the program i've been there for 12 years already so that's the place where i have worked the longest because okay. uh definitely generations have changed so much that very fast yeah. now generations are totally digital they don't really care about the teacher you know they're just working on their computers and doing this stuff but they grow so fast yeah. but i still think this program makes a huge difference in our society because if these young people of el salvador didn't have this opportunity they would definitely have a very difficult life so once more they than they have it Yes, they have it right now, but if they insist in making progress and getting over the situations, they definitely change not only their own life, but their families and their community's life. Just last month, five people, five young men were, well, they were granted a scholarship in the United States. They left five of them. So, and some others have already gone. Some others have already gotten jobs in different really important companies like Crowley, like all the call centers, and they continue studying a university career. So that's- Only for the United States have programs? No, they have applied to many different. People have gone to China, Korea. Germany? Uh, nobody has gone to Germany yet, but they have gone to the United Kingdom, to Russia, Brazil. They have also gone to, uh, there's one of, of them that, oh, no, two of them that are now working at Qatar Airways. Yes. <laughs> I want to, I want to, uh, I want to found uh, a, a chance job. for my daughter. Uh, uh, yeah. My daughter. Yeah. I How want old to, is she? To, uh, 14, 15. Right age. But uh, she can speak English and, and German. Already? And, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right. She's studying in the in the Deutsche Schule, um, and we want to to find another option to gain. Then she can grow up outside of the. Definitely suburb. online now. She can apply and find many different opportunities. Yes. Well, the programs that we know most about are from the United States because of the American embassy. You know, they always are promoting Neither this people. program. <clears throat> yeah. Yes, definitely talented. <laughs> so yeah definitely i've been there for so long that i never finished you know getting really amazed <laughs> yes and many people that now work for international companies because they already graduated mm -hmm. well i think it's about time action let's go <laughs> okay <laughs> not everybody, not everybody has returned. No, yet, right? So let's wait so that they don't, don't get lost. Okay. Everybody came back? Yes? Yes. All right. 
Awesome. Okay, volunteers to share about your experience. Oh, we're gonna select, let me see. I'm gonna select because we are gonna give the opportunity this time to three or four people. Probably the ones we didn't listen at first. So we're gonna listen to Marta. Hello, Marta. Hello, teacher. So you're gonna be the first one talking about your experience, yes? Are you ready? Uh, yes. All right. Then we're gonna have. Um. All right. The second person is gonna be. Let me see. Hazel. You ready, Hazel? Hazel. We don't have answers from Hazel. Irma. Irma. Hello, teacher. All right, so you're going to be the second one. First, Marta, then Irma, yes? Yes. And the third one would be, oh my God, I have a hard decision to make. <laughs> let's see, let's see, let's see. Mm, we have a dilemma. Mayra, we're going to listen to Mayra. Okay, ready? Go. Pregunta, teacher. No, just tell us about your experience in your company. Oh. Pero quizás no lo entendí, teacher, perdón. Solo cuéntenos de su experiencia, lo que estuvieron discutiendo igual, de lo que les estuvo contando a sus partners en el breakout room. Ok. Hey, um, um, uh, I have only working for two years in the company mm -hmm. and my occupation occupation is accountant mm -hmm. and um, uh, no I know I not have a different occupation in the company because there is no opportunity. Um, how many years did you say? How many? How many years have you been in this company? Two years. Two years, for two years. Did you have previous experience in similar company? Mm. Oh, this is your first job. Uh, no. Did you have another job before? Did you? Did you work for a different company before? Ah, uh, it's, it's yes, and the tenía twenty years and en el trabajo anterior. Thirteen years. Sí. Thirteen years. Twenty. Twelve. Twelve. Twelve, oh, 12. 12 years in yes. the previous company. Uh huh. In what department? No, I what was what was the job that you did in the previous job? In sales, in management, in marketing. ¿A qué se dedicaba en su trabajo? Occupation. Mm -hmm. um, sales, um, and sales, uh, vehicles. In sales, okay, yes. car sales, all right. Car sales, car sales. Uh -huh. yes. So for 12 years. Um, es que se, en, en esa empresa tuve la oportunidad de trabajar en, dif en diferentes ocupaciones. Different areas. Yes. Not only in sales. Administrative. Um, first, um, occupation, uh, account accounting uh-huh next um is auditor an auditor uh-huh of sales he is the sales car finish all right so you have different positions in the first company for 12 years yes 
All right, and now you have two years of experience in the current company as an accountant. Yes. Um, yes. Two years in this company? Two, two, two years. Two years. Okay, and you are an accountant. Accountant? Yes. Yes. All right. <laughs> okay. Oh, Marta. <laughs> that was hard. <laughs> okay. We need to practice. <laughs> okay. Yes. Who, all right. Who was the next person? I. All right, Irma. Tell us yes. about your experience. I work in your company. I work at in my company Unicomer 18 years. For 18 years. Yes. <gasps> Respect for Irma. Thank you. And if I have three positions. Three position assistant. Mm -hmm. Two position floor manager. Mm -hmm. Actuality uh, three position uh, Manager. A manager. Ooh, got it. Wow, that is impressive. And where is the office? In um, Silent. Silent. In Sala de Venta. On a store. store. So the office is inside the store. Inside the store. In Sagapango. Yes. Wow, I'm going to visit you. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm going to say, Irma, I need to go and visit you. We have business, all right? Yes. <laughs> we need to make I this better. better. <laughs> I'll wait for you. <laughs> okay, yes. But we need some discounts, remember. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Nice. Thanks. All right. Mayra. Um... Okay, yes. okay. Uh, in my company, I have working in engineer for three years mm -hmm. in the position of um, cost engineer. Mm -hmm. I had only one of one position. Mm -hmm. uh, we have only assigned other activity mm -hmm. in in the other the other company. I have other other occupation mm -hmm. as um, quality manager, quality assistant, production assistant, a certificate quality auditor for Hans Brown, oh and cost, cost engineer. Currently, in my company, a uh, uh, position cost engineer only. For three years now. For three years. Good. That's awesome. Excellent. Because of the time, we won't give the chance to the others. I know you are really eager to participate. You love participating, right? So this is what we've been doing, you know. How long have you worked in your company? You already told your classmate, you were interacting. It's really good, you know, that you express that you know how to say your positions that you have had, what you have learned, your qualifications. I heard in some groups you were even asking for the best experience, the best job experience you ever had, and that's really awesome. All right. Okay, this is the vocabulary we need to know. Of course, if you want, I can share this uh, photo with you, but we're going to study a little by little, okay? Four. When do we use four? For a period of time. Usamos for cuando vamos a escribir un periodo de tiempo. Por tanto tiempo, right? For two years, for three years, for two months, right? So it says Carlos studied English for two years. Yes? When do we use until? Until. 
The meaning of until after, right? Until 2021. Until now, right? So the example says Nancy went back home until the project was done, until the project was finished, right? Okay, so until, if you want to translate it literally, it's hasta. Hasta en ese entonces, hasta ahí, right? Then, okay, in that time, okay, then I started as an officer, then I was promoted. Okay, so you say I started as a sales person, then I became or I was promoted to be the manager, the store manager, right? Since, if you want to know the translation, oh, the translation of then will be like luego or entonces, right? Since would be desde, right? Lorena and Hazel are co workers since 2015. From to the a so we say de lunes a domingo, right? Or de tal día a tal día, or de tal fecha a tal fecha, right? I work from Monday to Sunday, practically every day, <laughs> no days off. And long, how long have you worked at USAID? How long is por cuánto tiempo? Cuánto tiempo, okay, long. No necesariamente se refiere a algo largo. Could be like long distances, but how long is how much time? Yes? Questions? Preguntas acá? Is there any question? Or everything is clear? Teacher. Yes, tell me. Um, <clears throat> no comprendí la diferencia entre until y them, porque until yo creí que era hasta mm -hmm. y them. Es luego. Ah, luego. O oh, okay. entonces. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. Perfecto. That's the difference. Yes, no problem. Sure. Thank you, teacher. All right, tell me. Until is for present. Uh, that's uh, until durante. Mm, es oh. cuando se dice hasta ahí. Por ejemplo, si yo le digo, ok. O usted le dice a, su, a sus hijos, va, te voy a dejar ver de lección hasta las nueve. Hasta ahí, ahí para. Yes, so it's like a limit in time. Yes, I say, oh, I work until 10. Ya después ya no. I don't keep working, right? Okay, mm -hmm. okay. It can be in the past, in the present, or in the future, right? Okay, thank you, teacher. All right, no problem. Somebody else? Anything else? Uh, teacher. Yes. In, in el caso de long, mm -hmm. se dijo que se podía ocupar como... Diferencia, pero periodo si de digo, tiempo. Ajá, si sí, yo digo long time. Un periodo largo, extendido de tiempo. Ok. Yes, puede ser. O you say, I work long hours, como muchas horas. Pero si ya es how long, es por cuánto tiempo. How okay. long have you been together in this class? You say, oh, we have been for three modules, for three months, for six months. Yes. A veces no tiene tanto sentido cuando decimos how long y lo queremos traducir. Decimos cuánto o largo. Es por cuánto tiempo. <laughs> it has to be interpreted, not translated. Yes? Yes, ok. All Thank right. you, teacher. O sea, oh, lo, of course. La, yes, tell me. En, en vez de, o sea, ahí no ocupamos la palabra time, sino que long, nada más how long. How long y tiene que saber que le están preguntando tiempo. Okay. Yes. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> a menos que le preguntaran cuántas veces. Ahí se, sería, ahí se sería como how many times. Por ejemplo, how many times have you been to the United States? Ahí se cuántas veces. Pero how long have you been working at the company? Or oh, I have been at the same company for six years or ten years, right? So that is refers to time. All right. Great. We have the conversation that talks about experience at work. 
or working experience. I love this topic because I consider that experience is really valuable. I mean, what you can have with experience is something that no other people can take away from you because it's your own experience, it's what you have learned, right? So I have, well, I'm gonna choose two people to read the conversation first and then if we need help, we're gonna do it. Right, so I'm gonna choose Herman would be Julio and Mayra would be Anna. No problems if you don't know a word or if you think that you're making a mistake, it's all right. Solo traten de mantener la respiración hasta el punto y ahí está. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so that is one strategy, okay? Julio, okay. are you ready? Yeah. Mayra, are you ready? <laughs> Nana. <Nah. Yes. laughs> All right, one, two, three, go. Tell me about your work experience. I work in Unilever for five years. Actually, I work in this company from 2011 to 2016. I quit because I was offering a new job in the Panama. Uh, what happened in there? It was just uh, for a short period um, of time. It was just for eight months until my project was done. Then I come back to El Salvador. And you have not worked since you came back? Not really. I had done some independent Joe, Joe, you know, but they have not been for long. Yeah, accurate. Not bad, not bad actually. Okay, so be the first, the first try. You're doing it really well. Okay, usually in a job interview, people ask you for your working experience, right? So tell me, tell me, this is very common in English, you know? Tell me, cuénteme. <laughs> so tell me about your work experience. And then Anna said, I worked at Unilever for five years. Actually, I work in this company from 2011 to 2016. Congratulations, Mayra knows how to say the years. That's really good. I quit because I was offered a new job in Panama. And what happened there? Aquí tenía que haber sonado más con intriga. Ah. <laughs> what happened? Yes, tell me. Ah. <laughs> you know, curiosity. I was just, oh, sorry. It was just for a short period of time. It was just for a month until my project was done. Then I came back to El Salvador. And have you not worked since you came back? This word is pronounced since, right? Since. Not really. I have done some independent jobs, you know, but they have not been for long. Not very long, not for a long time, right? So they have been for a short time. All right. Is there any question? No questions? The vocabulary is easy? Easy to pronounce? Easy to substitute? Probably you can change. Okay, this is my advice. We're going to work practicing the conversation. The first time, practice as it is there. Second time, try to change some optional words. For example, you can change the name of the company, the years. You can be creative, right? You can change the country. Yes. You can change the month. Uh, it was just for three months. It was just for six months, right? And then probably what else? Eh, the rest, it's okay. But these things are optional. First time, try to pronounce it. Try to practice the same exact conversation. But then you can be creative and you can substitute some optional words. All right? Let's go to the breakout rooms. Let me get different partners for you. Maybe we can add another room. Hmm. 
Wait a second, I'm making more room so that everybody has the possibility to practice with somebody else. All right. years. Actually, I worked in this company from 2011 to 2016. I quit because I was offering a new job in, job in Panama. And what happened there? It was just for a short period of time. It was for a small until my project was done, then I come back to El Salvador. And you have not working sites, you can back? No, re no, segui, seguis. I just do. Oh, really, es mío, sí. Uh -huh, so okay. Not really. I had done some independent, independent job, you now, but they have not been for long. Okay. Inicia usted para agarrar párrafo. Okay, we say Julio. Tell me about your work, your work experience. I worked at an Unilever for five years. Actually, I worked in, in this company from uh, 2011 11 to 2016. For a new job in Panama. Uh, what happened there? And um, what happened there? For it was used for a short period of time. It was used for a month until my project was done. I came back to El Salvador. And you have not worked in science, you came back? Not really. Ah, ah eso le toca todavía. Ah, no, le eso es de Ana. Eso es de Ana. Not really. I yes. have. Okay. Sí. Okay. Not really. I have done some independent. Jobs and you know, but they have not been for long. Okay, right, Jacqueline. Okay, um, a ser Julio. Okay, ah. yo voy a ser Julio. ¿Y usted va a ser Julio? No, como sea, está bien. Va, después me toca a mí ser Ana. Anti. Until my job, until my project was done. Then I came back to El Salvador. And you had no work since you came back? Not really. I have done some independent jobs, you know, but they have not been for long. Okay. And now si quieres, soy. <laughs> Say who you want. Okay. <laughs> okay. Tell me about your work experience. 
I work at Unilever for five years. Actually, I worked in this company from 2011 to 2016. Okay, from the Diagonal University. Yes. Okay. Near. Near, okay, okay. Okay. You are... Again, I'm Julio. Yes. Okay. Tell me about your workplace. Si no le escuché esa parte. Bueno. Pero yeah. podemos hacerlo así. Okay. Entonces, este, pregunto, Julio. Tell me about your work experience. Okay. Casi no lo oigo. ¿Quién empieza? Practiquémoslo ahorita con los cambios que le dicen. <risas> ok. Eh, solo en el primer párrafo le cambiamos. Sí. Ok. Tell me about your work experience. I worked at Nestlé six, six years. Actually, I worked in, the, in this company from 2017 to 2016. I quit because I was after a New York in Panama. Bueno, le podemos cambiar país, otro país como, ¿cuál le ponemos? No, bueno. Costa Rica. No. And what happened there? It was just for a short period of time. I was just for for eight months until my project was done. Then I come back to El Salvador. And you have not worked since you came back. Not really. I have done some independent jobs, you know, but there have not been for long. No ha sido por mucho tiempo, eso no ha sido por muy largo tiempo. Okay. We finished, teacher. All right, no problems. Seguimos practicando. All right. Please. Work at uh, level for years. Actually, I worked in this company from. This is. Uh... Lo que... Creo que le fue mal al tomar esa decisión de irse a Panamá porque ya después se quedó sin trabajo. En español decimos se quedó varado. Bueno, ella se quedó por varado. irse a Panamá, por irse a Panamá solo un periodo de, de ocho meses, ya después ya no pudo seguir trabajando. Ajá. Porque el proyecto dice que finalizó, entonces se vino para el Salvador de... de nuevo. Sí, porque dice que trabajaba al Working on Unilever por cinco años. Y luego eh, se fue porque tuvo una oportunidad en Panamá. En uh -huh, uh -huh. Guaja Penender eh, fue por un periodo corto de tiempo, solo fueron ocho meses. Y luego el proyecto terminó. Y regresó a y, y luego regresó a El Salvador. Y le pregunta si no ha, no ha trabajado desde entonces, desde que regresó. Y le dice, no, en realidad estoy en un trabajo independiente por ahora, pero no, no será por mucho tiempo. Pues no será por mucho, ajá. O sea, no, no durará mucho en estas condiciones. Sí. Okay, 
Okay. How was it? Pretty good. All right. Questions? No questions. It was easy. All right. Easy to pronounce. Uh, hi. <laughs> Tell me. Did you have any difficulty? Any challenge? Challenge. No? What was difficult? The, pronoun. the pronunciation. What word? Is the part of um, since, uh, since, 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 yes, since, since. All right. Any other word? Uh, to share vocabulary. Uh -huh. I need vocabulary. Quit. 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 Quit es renunciar. I quit because I was offered. I Ren enjoy. Sí, renuncié porque se me ofrecieron una oportunidad en Panamá. Quit es ofrecer algo así. No, renunciar. Ah, renunciar. I was offered. Se me ofreció. Me ofrecieron otra oportunidad. I was offered a job in Panama. Okay. Mm -hmm. What else? What else? No more? Are you sure? Okay. Yes. Pretty sure. All right. Yeah, I was offered a new job in Panama. And what happened there? Remember, it's just a question, right? Uh, it was just for a short period of time. It was just for a month until the project was done. And I came back to El Salvador. No yes? No dio el ancho como dicen a los salvadoreños y se vino. Solo era para vivir la experiencia en Panamá. Just traveling, you know. No, pero hay gente que lo hace. Believe it or not, I have, I have examples, real examples. I mean... Para no Para no quedar mal, dijo que era un proyecto corto. <risa> <risa> Qué malos. Qué mala gente. Yes, these partners. <risa> Confes. <risa> ok, vaya, pasemos ya a la tienda. No sé qué nos pase factura esta noche. Ok, Adriana. Present. Carlos. Present. Cristi. Present. Christy, le corresponde la sección 10 minutes after the class, all right? No se me vaya ahí. Daniel. Ya no logró participar. Daniel, Elsie. Present teacher. Berman. Present teacher. Hazel. Present teacher. Exton. Present teacher. Diana. Diana. <laughs> Irma, Irvin, Irvin, Present, Isabel, Present. Lucy, Marta, Present, Mayra, Present, Present. Teacher. Samuel, Here. Present, Nice, and Jacqueline, Present, Wendy no se logró conectar, dijo que tenía issues con el internet, ok, Christy, ready? Yes. Yes. Of course. Yes. 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 All right, Christy, it's just you yeah, and I. Hello. <laughs> <Jeff>. <laughs> okay, how do you feel? Uh, tired. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, tired. It was a busy every day. Every day, every day tired. <laughs> I know. Yeah. We need fine, energy. Fine. Yes. Ah, sí, pero. It's okay. Sí. 
Yeah, it's a busy day probably. Yes, that's why you get so tired. You need more energy. Okay, tell me, tell me about yourself. Um, no, le comprendí lo último. Cuénteme usted. Whatever oh, okay. information you can tell me. Tell me about yourself. <laughs> Cuénteme. I, I am work in the bank. Mm -hmm. Atlantida, uh, right? Atlantida. What? Uh -huh. What bank? Eh, Salvador del Mundo. In Salvador del Mundo. All right. Sí. Where is Antes it? Era, eh, it is cash management, pero... No, but where is located? Where is the bank located? Near Salvador del Mundo, but where exactly? Um, next to, in front of, next near, uh, <laughs> Dollar City, algo que me dé referencia. <laughs> Sobre Constitución, uh -huh. Primera Calle Poniente. Uh -huh. Es near Agrícola. Exacto. Ahí sí. Ahí, ahí está. <laughs> ahí antes, era, antes era Procredit. Really? Antes era Precredit mm -hmm. y ajá. Este es el Banco Atlántida, un banco hondureño, lo compró y cambió nombre. Impressive. Nice. Ok. <laughs> What else? Continue. Yes. More information about you. <laughs> ok. Um, veamos. Uh, I have some 11 years. 11 years in the same company. No, no, no. Uh, my son. Ah, I have a son who is 11 I years old. I have a son. Oh, yes. Nice. What's his uh -huh. name? Mateo Valentino. Mateo Valentino. Beautiful name. Sí. <laughs> um, no sé, estoy tratando de aprender mucho inglés. Pero it's okay, recuerdo. it's okay. <laughs> Tell me about Valentino. Um, eh, estudié quinto grado. Y estudies. Eh, taught English more. <laughs> He is studying. Mejor que yo, English. mejor que yo. Really? Él me puede enseñar. Ah, pero... He studies English at school. Oh, sí. nice. And what is the name of the school? Eh, no, Academia Europea. Oh, he studies English on the weekend. Eh, Saturday. On Saturdays, uh-huh. And in he goes morning. to school normally on the on the weekdays. It's <laughs> great, okay. but in the school he studies English too. Sí, sí. Uh -huh. Ajá. Eh, muy bien, he aprendido mucho, la he verdad. He is good. <laughs> sí, sí. He is good. He loves se English. Ríe, se ríe de mí, ¿verdad? Pero... <laughs> really? This Valentino is terrible. Sí, este, me gusta mucho su clase porque es bastante inglés, entonces es como que nos obliga a que tenemos que ver. Sí, y hay palabras que realmente no, no comprendo mucho, pero de repente uno tiene que ir ahí. Hay que ir anotando, ¿no? hay que ir anotando y ver aquellas que no, que no me salió, que no entendí, copiarlas y después buscar la definición o la traducción. Sí, pero a la vez le, le ayuda como a enlazar, ¿verdad? Como uh -huh. lo que no, va de ideas. Uh -huh. Sí, siempre cuando esté como focus, ya, yeah, you're gonna get the idea. O sea, al final lo que cuenta es que haya comprensión. Si no es que voy a saber de qué va todo lo que se muestra o todo lo que hay ahí, pero es ir acumulando, ¿verdad? Un vocabulary para ir construyendo las ideas y que haya communication, que es lo más importante. That's good. Sí. Cuénteme y más. Yeah. Tell me more about yourself. <laughs> ah, bueno, eh. In English. In... <laughs> Where do you live? He's, um, eh, gamer, gamer. He loves games. Yeah, they learn a lot in games, in video <laughs> games. They learn a lot of vocabulary. Exactly. Uh -huh. In... On the internet too. English in English. He plays the games in English. Sí. I know. <laughs> Creo que necesito aprender a jugar también. <laughs> <laughs> to understand. <laughs> okay. nice. sí. It's a good idea. Para practicar, para practicar. Yeah, it's a good idea, sí. actually. Okay. <laughs> And where do you live? 
a San Salvador, a Boulevard Constitution. Con, 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 okay, so near your work. Sí. Mm, nice, in five minutes you get to your work. Um, Eleven. Ten minutes, oh my God. Yes. Uh, I just spent one hour in the traffic. <laughs> uh, after uh, I leave, before I leave, uh, a popa, far, 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 far. Two, so, hours two hours for traffic, traffic. in traffic. Yes. Oh, Jesus. That was terrible. Yes, I believe you. Okay. So, how is your experience studying English in Corporativo? Mm, good. How, <laughs> how, how long? <laughs> how many modules? This is the first module, the second module, the third module? Uh, four. The four fourth modules. module. So, you already know your partners? Yes. They are yes. good partners. Yes. Uh, um, in this model, it have new new, new classmates. Yes. Yes. Sí. Yes, because they have incorporated to make the group big. That's yes. great. <laughs> nice. So you only have one child, only one son. Only one son. Only Valentino. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, only, no more. Only one. No. <laughs> Cancel. <laughs> Por favor, please no. Okay, <laughs> suficiente, al control suficiente. supreme. <laughs> okay. Es difícil, es difícil. It's difficult. I know. Sí. Wow. Nice, that's awesome. Well, thank you for sharing. ¿Tiene alguna pregunta o algo más que quiera que abordemos? No, no quizás más recomendación para que me recomienda para practice, verdad, practice. Es que, usted ponga videos usted ponga videos on youtube now you can find a lot of videos te dice bueno hoy me voy a poner de meta a ver vocabulario de la casa por decir algo o oh, today okay. i'm going to learn vocabulary de comida pero escríbalo de una vez food vocabulary sport vocabulary de una vez en inglés y lo van a salir acumularlo aprenderlo exactly y conforme lo vaya escuchando se lo va a ir a como incorporando and that's okay or an app could be una app to practice y cada vez que quiera ver social media mejor ve la app y hay una app que lo tienen a uno ahí no practicados practique practique Duolingo, ah sí bien. hasta de pronunci pronunciación también tiene que pronuncia. hablar también ajá y es sí. obviamente lo que ha estado escuchando es que lo que le dicen que repita so it's easy <laughs> mm -hmm. practice And then don't be shy. In que no le dé pena. O sea, sí, todos estamos learning. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay. O sea, cada vez que haya que participar, usted participe. That is the idea. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sí, está bien. Hay All que right. echarle ganas para aprender. Yeah. <laughs> It's true. Keep practicing. Continue, continue, continue. Yes. Okay. All right, bye. La dejo para que vaya a descansar. No se ha querido acostar todavía. He needs to go to school tomorrow in the morning. Ay. Siempre a las nueve, pero ahora se me ha quedado ahí. Se ha aprovechado. <risa> ok. Well, thank you so much. Nice to meet bueno. you. Bueno, good night. Good night. Take care.